Well, we're going to go ahead and record this class because they want us to record it and we will get started and Martyr will join us. Okay, um, let's kind of share the screen that I have for us. Uh -oh. Did I do that wrong again? Um, from beginning. Okay. All right. Welcome. Can everybody see the screen? Uh, yes. Good. Okay. Um, okay. I just took attendance. We've already had welcome. We've said hello. Sometimes I will put some things in Spanish just to help make a point. Um, but my Spanish is not very good. <laughs> so, um, we're trying to learn the English, um, and I'll do the best that I can. Um, if at any point that you have a question, then you can use the chat feature to ask a question and I will get it. Okay, we're using Zoom. And our classes are on Thursdays from 6.30 to between 7.30, 8 o'clock. And we're using the level two books. So hopefully everyone has the level two book and workbook. Uh, Cruz, do you have that? Uh, yes. Okay, great. Okay. So use your chat feature whenever you can. We can mute and unmute. So far we don't have that problem. Don't forget the chat. That way you can ask questions. You will be recorded because they want us to record this in case you were sick one week and you want to catch up. It'll be on, we'll have it on a YouTube channel and then we'll um, somehow on WhatsApp. So, um, or our WhatsApp class and then the YouTube channel, we'll have those options. And the, and I do a homework thing that is already pre-recorded, so it just helps you with explaining the homework a little bit more. And just for your information, whenever we're using the, the workbooks or the book, the regular class book, and you're at home doing this, the answers are in the back of the book but try it first then do your then check your answers fanny did you do were you able to access the homework video last week mm -hmm. did you do homework yes okay did you watch a video about the homework mm, no oh Okay. Did you see where it was posted and just didn't get to it? Or you did, didn't remember that it was out there or how to get it? Okay, well, we'll keep working on that one. Okay, we are each we're working on a Bible verse each week. It's a great way to practice our English. And so um, the first word we're going to be doing is the Lord's Prayer. You may already know it from your Bibles, but let's go ahead and practice. Let's just warm up our, our vocal cords and let's go ahead and practice the Lord's Prayer. I'll say the first and then you repeat after me. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Your turn. The Lord is, the Lord is my shepherd, shepherd. Uh, I, I shall not want. Not want. want. Uh huh. Want. Very good. Martir, are you, are you able to hear? Keeps, he keeps popping in and out. Okay. 
He makes me lie down in green pastures. Your turn. He makes me lie down in green pastures. Uh huh. Here we go. Does that help? <laughs> That might help. He yeah. leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. Okay. He leads me beside quiet refreshing waters. Water waters. He refreshes my soul. Very good. He guides me along the right paths for the sake of his good name. He, he, wipes, he, got, he wipes me along me, the right the path path for the for this sake, sake of, of his, his good name. name. Very good. And this word is guides, G-U-I-D-E-S. I know the G guides. in Spanish and English is different, but he guides, he leads. Guide. He guides. Okay. okay. All right, next one. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, your turn. Even though, though I, I walk, walk through, through the darkest darkness. valley, by I yeah. uh -huh. No, even because I, I fear not evil, evil with me. Okay. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil because you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Your turn. Your rod and your staff, and your staff they, comfort they comfort me. Very good. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You, you prepare a table before, before me in the presence of my enemies. enemies. You anoint my head with oil. You, you anoint my head with oil. My cup oil. overflows. My, my cup overflows. Very good. Your goodness and faithful love your goodness, your goodness and faithful faith love, love mm -hmm. will pursue will me all the we, days of my life. We pursue me mm -hmm. all the days of my life. And I will live you, in the Lord's you, house forever. In the Lord's house and, forever. and I will live in the Lord house forever. Very good. Okay, we warm. And I went ahead and put some of the Spanish translation just as explanation. So hopefully that that helps. Okay, we are going to be using our future books. So, and in today's lesson, we begin on page eight. Um, we're describing the way people look and their personalities. These descriptive words are called adjectives and adjectives describe nouns and a noun is a person, place, or thing. We're also continuing our practice on our verbs, am, is, are, have, and has. And then we're going to introduce two new ones. Okay, did it, Fanny, did you have any questions from your homework? 
Mm. No. No? Good. Okay. Did you create flashcards so that you could practice? Those are the little index cards that you put. One side has your English, the other side has your Spanish. Oh, hello, Benita. Hi. Hi, thank you for joining us. Okay, we'll take a break minute and welcome Benita. I'm Belita, so we, we're close. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> um, Benita, what country are you originally from, or is your family from? Uh, Mexico. Okay. Okay. Is this your first year for EELL, or were you in another uh, class last year? Last year with Miss Elsa. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Now, she has a day class, and then I have a night class because our class was so big yes. so it, it you can go to either one to, it just depends on your preference mm -hmm. okay yeah. okay um okay last week we did have some homework and then i suggest everyone create flashcards. you'll you have vocabulary words in your book each week and it's real good to put the word the English word on one side, the Spanish word on the other, and then if you need to write the definition, that's good too. And then practice, 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 practice. So Fanny, since you were here last week, you get to start in doing your, your paragraph. You wrote a paragraph about four or five sentences describing yourself. So, you get to go first. Um, <laughs> um, Did you write it down? Um, no. No, okay, all right. <laughs> okay, uh, Cruz and Benita, you be thinking about it ways that you're going to describe yourself. Describe myself. Uh-huh. Okay, who wants to go first? Okay, me. Fanny's <laughs> gonna do it. Okay, Fanny's gonna go first. Okay. Um my name is uh Fanny I'm from Mexico. Um, I have uh, two children. Um, <laughs> I have um, black uh, curly hair. Good. And I have um, um a leather, uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Are you tall or short? Uh or tall, average? Tall. You're tall, okay. Yes. Mm. Okay. That was several sentences. <laughs> Okay. Uh, describe your personality. Are you um, friendly or moody or easygoing? I, I'm friendly. You're friendly? Okay. Very good. Okay. All right. Who wants to go next? Okay, come on, Cruz or, or Benita. Okay. All right, thank I, you. I go first. Okay. Okay, my, my name is Cruz Ramirez. I'm from Mexico and I have two girls. And I'm um, sure 
Um, You're short? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm a little shy. Um, I'm so quiet. Um, I don't know. Um, okay. What color is your hair? Is it long or short? Uh, short. Short? Okay. Yeah. Is it curly or straight or wavy? It's wavy. It's wavy? Yeah. Okay. Very good. I noticed you're in your car. Uh, yeah. Okay. Is that to get away from the children or the only place you can get internet? <laughs> no, I can't wait for my, my daughters, yeah. Yes, okay, very good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Benita, it's your turn. Okay. Um, I am from Mexico, mm -hmm. and I am short, and I have two children. And I have short hair, and my hair is the color black, and I think I am friendly. Okay. Very good. Okay. All of you used the words that were in the book, some of your vocabulary words, so that's really good. Um, continue to write those on, on your cards. Now, let's go to page eight. Okay, we have some new words. The first, they're in that blue box. The first one is attractive. Say that attractive. Attractive. Very good, Benita. Fanny. Uh, attractive. Attractive. Good. Cruz. Attractive. Very good. The next one is beautiful. 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 Uh huh. The next one is good looking. Good looking. Uh huh. Good looking. Good the looking. next, very good. That's a very common English expression um, or description. The next one is handsome. 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 Mm -hmm. And then what's crossed out is pretty. 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 Mm -hmm. Pretty. Okay, now some of these words you usually only describe, you only use them to describe women or men, and then some can be used for both. For example, you don't call a man pretty, okay? And you don't call a woman handsome. Those are not nice terms for those. So, words that for women only, can you guess what are some of the others? My friend is pretty. The word beautiful is usually not a male no. description. Now, good looking can go for both a male and a female. Oh, he's so good looking. Or she is good looking. You know, depending. Um, she is so pretty. She is beautiful. He is handsome. He is good looking. Um... He, 
attractive is usually feminine. It, that's usually more for women. But put those, let's put those words on a flashcard, on an index card, flashcard index card. Attractive and beautiful, good looking, handsome and pretty. Those are gonna be common, common things that you hear. To describe people. Okay, let's practice reading this conversation. Um, there's three of you, there's five of these. I'll start, I'll, I'll start with number one. Fanny, you say number two. Two, Cruz, can you do number three? It's kind of long. Uh, okay. And then Benita, I'll let you do four and five, okay? Okay, hi Maria, are you coming to my party tonight? Yes, yes Anna, I'm coming. Will three be? There. Any, there be? We, uh, will there be any good looking men? Very good. Yes, I, I be invited some several handsome male friends. Juan is king and has short curly black hair. He is on the shine side, very smart, but somewhat moody. 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 Another friend. It explains Mike, what teenagers are. That they're uh, moody. Yeah. <laughs> okay. A another friend, Michael, is tall and muscular and has shoulders. Oh, very good. Uh -huh. And has shoulders length lengths. A strained blonde hair. He very used good. he used to play football. He's very talk talk like talk like talkative. Talk talkative. Talkative. Talk uh huh. Talkative. I know it's a but, hard one. He's very talkative. Talk. <laughs> he talks talk a lot. Mm -hmm. Oh, but no. Both boastful. Boastful Boast, means he doesn't boastful. brag. Oh, and he is very sweet. And I have a new friend named Andy that is average hey, hi, hey. height, uh -huh. height, average weight, and has curly red hair. We call him Carrot Top because of the red hair and because he is so funny. He is always tell, 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 tell mm -hmm. a, a joke and making people laugh. Loud. Awesome. That's great. Okay. Nita? That's great. I am going to wear my beautiful new red dress. Maria, I am so glad you are coming. You are so cutie and I am guessing uh -huh. that dress will help you look even more beautiful. Awesome, very good ladies. Okay, that was using all of our new words, handsome, thin, black hair, shy, smart, moody, that one minute they're happy, the next minute they're sad. That's, you know, like teenagers. <laughs> you never know how they're gonna feel. Tall, muscular, muscular has, you know, nice big, muscular shoulders, has shoulder length, um, straight blonde hair, talkative, 
That's a hard word to say. Talkative Talk means talks a lot. Um, but he's not boastful or he's not um, only saying good things about himself. Um, like you, like when you brag, boast or brag that you're, I did this and I did that and you never let anybody talk. Um, so he's not boastful. And Andy is funny because he's always telling a joke. And then Anna is gonna wear a beautiful new red dress. And it's, she's already pretty and that will help her look even more beautiful. So we're using pretty and beautiful for girl. Um, good looking can be for anyone. Handsome is more ma male. Okay. All right, let's remember our verbs. Because that was one part we were supposed to do. On page, so we did our, yeah, on page 10. And let's just review our nice little words. Okay, we're talking our verbs is about the to be verbs. And it's am, is, and are. So you see how I have it set up in this little chart? I am, and then that's for the positive. And then for the negative, I have the contraction, I'm not. The, the contraction, if you remember contractions from last year, is I am becomes I'm. And you just put that little apostrophe in place of the A. So it becomes I'm not whatever. He, she, it, you would use the verb is. He, and then the negative would be isn't. He isn't going to bed. She isn't going to work today. It isn't behaving. The dog isn't behaving. The dog being an it. We and they, because it's more than one, is an are. And then the negative, like we are going to class tonight. We, they are going to church on Sunday. The negative or the not, we are not or aren't. Now that's a funny word. I laugh every time I say it. We aren't going to church tonight. We aren't going to work tomorrow because it snowed. The more formal uh, is we are not, but the contraction the more casual is we aren't. We aren't going to the store today. We are not going to the store today. If you make a little grid using your different verbs in your, your positive, they, your book will call it affirmative and the nose or the negative, then you can always put in your, your verbs to learn how to, which one goes with the, with the subject of I, he, she, it, we, or they. Because all of our verbs, just like in Spanish, to, es, um, usted, um, yo, yo, es, usted, I'm missing one. But it's about the same thing. Okay, so I am, he, she, it is, we, they are. And then another verb, have. I have, he, she, it has, we, they have. So I, it, I, we, and they are a have. He, she, and it is the only one that is has. So I have 
a dog. I have two children. I, I haven't any cookies in my house. Um, he, she, it has. She has two daughters. She doesn't have any sons. We have, lots of cookies. They don't have any cookies. Okay. Do we get another one back in? I thought I heard another voice. Okay, good. Okay, so let's practice part A on page 10. Let's, the first one's done for us. So I'll read that first sentence and then Fanny, you can read the next and we'll go that way. Okay, we're on page 10 of our regular book. The regular book looks that one, not workbook. Okay, my sister and brother are very good looking, but they don't look alike. Now the reason it's are is because sister and brother is more than one. So that's two, which makes it a vague. My sister and brother now becomes two, are. So we'd use, since it's more than one, we use the are. Okay, Fanny, the next sentence. My, my sister. My sister has mm -hmm. brown eyes, but my brother has blue mm -hmm. eyes. Good. Okay, Cruz. Uh, my sister has long hair. Uh huh. It's or curly. Mm. Oh, it is curly. It is curly. Mm hmm. Because it uh, refers my, to her hair. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. My brother' hair is short. Very good. Okay, Benita, go ahead and finish. And and it and it is not curly. It is strange. Mm -hmm. Then do the next one. Also, mm -hmm. my sister is tall and my brother is average, average height. 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 Mm -hmm. But my sister and brother are alike in one way. They are both thin. Very good. Now, Benita, when you were saying, I know it's easier to say, and it is not curly. That is a correct way to say that. Um, but when they give you the contraction, then try to use the contraction. And it isn't curly. Isn't. Isn't. Mm -hmm. okay. Very good. Okay. okay. Uh, on, okay, let's look at B. Number three. Three, Benita, go ahead and read that one. Okay. Omar. No, number three. B3, Jeff. Jeff and Bo and Ro uh -huh. have blonde hair. Say that one again. Jeff and Ro have Blonde hair. Very good. Okay. Um, Fanny, do number five. Josh and his brother are tall. Okay. And Cruz, number five. 
Amy is her. No, no, okay. No. It's curly. He is not curly. It's not curly. Okay. All right. You wouldn't say it's not. You would say is not. Okay. It's ints. It's ints. Amy's hair is not curly, or Amy's hair isn't curly. Okay. Amy hair is isn't isn't curly. Is Correct. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay, and let's try number eight. Can anybody get number eight? This one's going to throw us. Okay. All uh, right, Fanny. Stevie doesn't have a bear. Very good. Yes, that one kind of, we had a, yeah. Because when you have a don't, I mean, when it's negative, has, it's a don't have or doesn't have. You don't, there, she hasn't, yeah. You would say mainly she doesn't have um, a dress to wear to work. He doesn't have a uniform. It, the dog doesn't have a leash on. We don't have gas for the car. You don't use hasn't. She hasn't. Some people would say she hasn't much money, but that's not a very good sentence. Um, you, you, you're you're going to mainly use don't have or doesn't have. Okay. All right. Let's go to page four. Over. Okay, on page 14 and 15, we have some new words. Let's go over these words. At the very top in that um, blue bossy, you say it, bossy. 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 Mm -hmm. I always tell other people what to do. Very good. Okay. Cheerful. I'm hearing a band's voice, but I don't have uh, um, video. Mar um, Martir, are you on? Okay. All right. All right. So we have bossy. We have cheerful. Say it. Cheerful. 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 Uh huh. Cheerful. Laid back. Laid back. Moody. Moody. Outgoing, outgoing, shy, shy, sweet, sweet, talkative, talkative, and let's put a new one: quiet, quiet, quiet. Q U I E T. Okay, so we know that number one, 
always tells other people what to do, that would describe a bossy person. Okay, number two, is nervous when speaking to other people. What do you think, which one of those words would go in there? Would that be cheerful, Hi. laid back, moody, outgoing, shy, sweet, talkative? Shy. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Number three, likes to talk a lot. Talkative. Talkative. Uh huh. Okay. Changes feelings quickly and often. Moody. Moody. Mm -hmm. Very good. Number five is relaxed and not worried about anything. Laid back. Laid back, yes. Um, is happy and positive. Happy, is happy and positive. Uh, sweet. No. Uh, cheerful. Yeah. Cheerful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cheerful people are just happy and positive. They're just you like being around cheerful. They're not going to say negative. They're not going to be depressing. Okay, number seven is kind, gentle, and friendly. Sweet. Sweet. That would be a sweet, yes. And then number eight, enjoys meeting new people. Outgoing. Outgoing, yes. Okay, let's make up, using these words, let's make up um, a sentence describing either yourself or a friend or a family member using, try to use two or three of the words. Miss Belita. Uh-huh. I'm sorry, I have to disconnect. Oh, okay. See you. Okay, um, I'll, I'll send out the homework. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank all right, you. thank you. Bye. Bye. See you next week. Okay. Thank you. We are getting close. To, yeah, we're getting close to done. Okay. All right. Bye, Manita. Okay, Fanny, can you do a word describing using a couple of those words? Mm. My my data is uh cha chow. Your daughter is a child? Uh, okay. <laughs> is your daughter cheerful? Or moody. It's, um, uh, moody. My daughter is moody. Mm -hmm. Okay.
Bruce, can you do one that has two or more words in it? Um, my friend is so bossy, but sometimes it's sweet and she's cute. Very good. Okay. Very good. Okay. That's good. That's very good. Okay, try to add those to your flashcards. Make make it make your index cards with those words, and that way you can practice them. Okay, on page oh, sixteen and seven. Yeah, sixteen and seventeen. Um, they're going to talk about and and but when to use those two. And then, um, and then on 17, it talks about two, T, O, O, and either, because that's in your homework. Um, so you use and, the word and, to join two sentences with similar ideas. For example, he is tall and thin. She is outgoing and talkative. The dog is short and fat. I am going to the grocery store and to Walmart. So you see how Anne joined those two. Now you're going to use, whoops, get back here. Oh, no. Okay, you can use the word but to join two sentences with opposite ideas. I like chocolate ice cream but I don't like strawberry. He is sweet, but a little too quiet. That way you have but and to. The dog is usually quiet, but does have a, but he does have a loud bark. See the but. She has brown eyes, but her twin has green eyes. I am going to the grocery, but I won't have time to go to Walmart. So I, you pretty probably already have and and but down. Now two, in the English we have, we have a lot of words that sound alike but are spelled differently. So you have two, that's T-W-O, like the number two. And then you have T-O, which means to go toward something. I'm going to the post office. I'm going to work. And then you have T-O-O, -O, also pronounced to, that is kind of means the same thing as the word also. So use to, T-O-O, -O, to join two sentences with a similar idea in place of repeating some of the words or ideas. Okay, for example, he is tall and thin, I am too. So you're using two instead of saying he is tall and thin, I am tall and thin. So you would say he is tall and thin, then you could say and I am too, and to make it one sentence instead of the two sentence. She is outgoing and talkative. He is too. Two different, it just can't, it's a sentence that can't stand alone. The dog is short and fat. The cat is too. Meaning the cat is short and fat. I am going to the grocery store and to Walmart. I am too, may I join you? Now that should be a period there. Whoops, get back. Um, two different, two different sentences there. Now for either, you use not not either for a negative sentence. So you're not going to use either that often. For example, I like chocolate ice cream.
Um, well, forget that one. Uh, I like chocolate ice cream and my hus but my husband doesn't like it either would be a way to use that one. Ugh. The dog isn't quiet and the cat isn't either. Anna isn't the teacher and she, you'd be pointing to somebody or you, she isn't either. So it's real hard to make up words with either because we just don't use it that often. Um, and I think there's only one question on page 17 that actually uses the word either. Um, on page 17, number two, he isn't tall and his wife isn't either. Greg is funny and his dad is two. Son is in my English class and Oscar and Fernando are two. My brothers are not outgoing and I'm not either. My friend is beautiful and her daughter is two. You get those? Okay, those are, you're going to have those. Okay, we're wrapping it up. See, it's, I'm trying to keep y'all, <laughs> um, not to go forever. Um, Okay, on our homework, we are in the workbook and we're page eight and nine. On page eight of your workbook, looks, it says workbook on it, you're going to be doing part A, B, C, and D on page eight and nine. A uses the correct form of and or but. That should be pretty easy for you. B, you're doing, um, they describe the picture. The, the picture is kind of describing themselves and you're going to write sentences about that. Uh, and they want you to use the words and and but to make sure that you know how to use those. Part C, you're gonna use the word either to or either. And then part D, you're gonna make sentences using um, the information in the chart, um, using eithers and twos, making those sentences. For example, Lydia and Victor are tall and Kwan Su is two. Um, Most of those are going to be two. But then you can make some negative ones using the word, using not either or isn't either. Those eithers are. I, I use eithers in different way in what they are trying to explain here. Typically, we would say I'm either going to the I'm either going to um, the movie or I'm going to go to a restaurant. That's usually where we use either, not at end of sentences. Okay, so A, B, C, and D. I'll also post the homework video in case that helps explaining anything about how to do these two pages and a little bit more about ands and buts and twos and eithers. So practice your verbs, practice your English, um, read a newspaper, watch a TV show, get a simple book and read it to the kids, um, have them read to you, um, if, if that helps. Um, 
just all right any questions nobody used the chat feature so okay all right try to do your homework it really does help you in in learning the more you practice the better that you will be and if you're learning english to get that better job um, then the quicker you'll be able to get a promotion or get that better job okay. or just communicate with teachers and <laughs> all that good stuff <laughs> all right any questions no no you got it okay i'm trying to keep it between an hour hour and a half um so we're not so long like we were in person um so that you're not using all your data time so okay y'all have a very good week and if you need anything oh, stop sharing. here we go if you need anything um then just call me text me whatsapp me then i'll um i'll help you any way that i can okay thank you all right y'all have a good week bye thank you bye, bye.